What is going on, you stallions and stallionettes? AK40 Kevin here in the Gamer Heaven. It's time for part two of building the ultimate game room, something I can feel happy to walk in the door after a hard day's work, kick back, play some games, stream, retro game, build a custom controller or two, and just have a good time. So, slight spoiler, as you can see from the footage right now, TV has been wall mounted with all the wires ran into the drywall, lights behind it, RGB lights under the desk. The second desk has been built over there. So you're going to see me sweat in this video a little bit, putting in some work, but it is so worth it. And this room is really coming together well, guys. So with this entire playlist, this whole build, any of the tools or materials that I use will be listed in the description below so you can get exactly what I'm getting. I'm trying to do this build on the cheap, so using a lot of tools and parts that are, uh, you know, maybe generic versions and whatnot, but still do the same job. So without further ado, guys, enjoy the footage. All right, so we're at the power cut in this room right now. I'm just using the light from the uh, window over there, obviously, so I don't electrocute myself and whatnot. I have this fish line ran up there. And as you see, I, I finally, it took some while, uh, took a while. I had to kind of push and blast my way through some uh, insulation in there and whatnot. Uh, hopefully I didn't destroy too much of my insulation. I'd like to keep my electrical cross down. But anyway, I was able to fish that up there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tie off the power cord and the uh, HDMI cable and basically tape them off and pull them down to that bottom hole. All right, so this is the cable that I'm using. It is an HDMI on one side to a DP or display port on the other because my graphics card only has one HDMI and two D DPs for uh, display port and one USB-C connector back there. And I already have the uh, top HDMI cable used for that uh, top monitor up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave these plastic caps on there so I don't get any, any uh, fiberglass insulation pieces in there or anything like that. I'm gonna go ahead and route this bad boy up with the power cable through the wall. All right, boys, I've been going in even further with the cable management using these little Velcro tie backs. So we'll have these linked in the description below. So the wires are routed through the wall here. Not the prettiest right now. I am going to use a drywall patch kit and fill in this hole a little bit. And then I'm going to put an actual outlet that has a rubber gasket in the middle where you pass through the wires. That is going to cover all of these. I'm going to touch up that paint right there. I'm going to drop our phone. Awesome. Awesome. This is temporary for now just to make sure that I was getting power to the TV and I am. There is going to be a surge protector right here because we are going to be building this desk, which is going to go right here. There's going to be a surge protector behind, hidden behind the desk. And then eventually that'll be upgraded to an ups or uninterrupted power source, much like the one that we have right there. So that way, if we lose power, there is no, uh, you know, there's no damage to the computer and it'll automatically do its best to save all your open work and whatnot. So there is no cable management tray or trough back here for the stream or the uh, Elgato key light air. So what I did is I used one, two, three, four of these little Velcro tie backs on here to keep the wire there. Uh, back there behind the PC, as you can see as well, there's one, two, three Velcro tie backs there, keeping all the wires held together somewhat pretty. Obviously I have this bad boy here. There's three wires inside of that white tube right there. All the wires underneath here. Let's get up underneath here, boys. Are ran all nice and pretty along here like that that little bundle at the end there doesn't look too pretty but i'm gonna kind of tuck it up a little bit more we're here for the microphone this is tucked down to a cable way over here there is about five feet of slack tucked in there of usb cable so if i do a review for a different mic and i'm going to be walking around with it or anything like that i can have it plugged in all the cables are managed here in the uh blue compass boom arm all right, boys, now we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of uh, RGB lighting, LED light strips behind the TV because it's not a real gaming setup unless you have enough RGB to really pop your corneas, you know what I mean? All right, so this is overlapping a little bit right here. So it's probably gonna be a little bit too bright right here. I might just snip this down obviously to where it ends right there. And I have uh, one of those Velcro cable ties that I showed you guys tying together the HDMI and the uh, power for these LED lights. I'm also gonna Velcro together the power and HDMI here and tuck them into the wall a little bit better and then go ahead and put that cover or that uh, that shroud. All right, boys, that is looking quite succulent. We got a power strip over here now with the wire ran underneath the carpet there. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and build this desk here, Monarch Specialties. I really wish they would sponsor me because I have spent an astronomical amount on the furniture. Like their furniture's not cheap, but it looks good and it's durable and it works, but 
damn. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and build this bad boy. This room is uh, really coming together nicely, boys. I'm liking it thus far. All right, boys, time to turn all this into a desk. Got me a little walking dead on the uh, screen over there. I gotta say, that is just lovely having that there. Can control my media up here with this bad boy. See you more. Fantastic. All right, time to build this thing. All right, boys, things are coming together pretty well. Got the desk here, as you can see. There's just a ton of drawer space, which is awesome. This one's pretty much gonna be dedicated for my, my custom controller builds, PC builds, unboxing, stuff like that. This is obviously gonna be my gaming multimedia production center over here for video editing, streaming, all that other good stuff. Obviously, I can put up uh, whatever topic I'm talking about for vlogs and stuff on the screen over there if I'm doing a review or something. So just really, really nice. Uh, but I got some things here. So I did already try and wall mount the Viotech 32 inch curb monitor over there. It did not work. Now I got an adapter that says it specifically works with Viotech monitors. However, the specific model I have, it says it has limited compatibility. I don't know what that means. It's a mount. It either works or it doesn't. So we're going to find out. Hopefully it does because I do want to wall mount that bad boy. That would allow me to put the stream deck uh, directly underneath the monitor. That would also close up that gap there between the top and secondary or the uh, primary and secondary monitors. Uh, then I also got some LED RGB lights for the bottom of the desk here to add a little glow, a little ambiance. I think the color theme that I'm going to try and go with in here is kind of a, a deep purple or magenta underneath the desk there. And then all the accessories on the desk and the TV, uh, kind of a teal. So a teal and purple two-tone kind of look. I think that's going to look uh, really, really handsome in my opinion. Um, those are kind of like two of my favorite colors, at least teal turquoise is. Purple isn't like a favorite color of mine, but I think that combination of RGB glow together. All right, so first things first, we're gonna knock the easier project out first, which would be the lights for underneath the desk here. Uh, the mount there, I, that's not gonna be a necessarily hard project, but I do need to get my stud finder out and drill into the wall and all that fun stuff. So we'll just do the lights first. All right, boys, what well, is looking pretty darn good? I knew it would look good, but it actually uh, kind of looks a little bit better than I thought, to be quite honest. And I kind of picked this color because it's not very bright. It's not going to be disorienting or anything like that. I also do have the remote. I can turn it off if it is distracting me from my game or anything like that. But it really isn't because it's, well, underneath the desk. But as you see, it's cascading light on the wall there, which I think looks really, really nice. I'll show you guys exactly how I routed everything underneath here. It's actually really, really clean the way I did it. Not to toot my own horn or anything, but between like the cable management that like virtually there's like almost no wires even visible. Uh, even when the wires actually drop down, I have them pretty well managed. There's a little bundle up there, but again, I'm gonna tie those back with some cable ties. Uh, not, not cable ties, but some um, not traditional like handcuff style cable ties, but some Velcro ones that are reusable. And then I have that drop down there, have a drop down for this right here, cable tray, lights, running all the way across here, kind of bent them like that, bent them around there. And then over here, I'm actually gonna extend this with another, uh, what is this, a 13 foot? Yeah, 13 foot, six inch strip. And that's gonna continue all the way under here and all the way down the second desk over here. So uh, I'm gonna order another one of those on Amazon. That'll be here in about a day and a half, two days. And uh, that other desk will be illuminated over there. All right, so I gotta say, I'm not very hopeful for this mount here. Just by looking at it, I've already taken apart the, the back of the Biotech before. And uh, I don't think this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try. But after this, I've done my due diligence. I've read a ton of forums. I've ordered different mounts and adapters. And this particular model of Biotech 32 inch monitor just, just it, it, it's not, it, it ain't ought to be uh, put on the wall, boys. It's meant to be on a desk, which really kind of sucks because when I'm sitting down, I guess I'll just air squat here. When I'm sitting down, uh, it, it's actually above my eye level. So it's it's not really like centered. It's centered obviously left to right on a horizontal plane, but on a vertical plane, my eye should be looking dead at the tip of the schmeckle here on this stormtrooper. And they're looking more at his chest piece, right, right there at his breastplate. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, just from a, a gaming standpoint, you want your monitor like dead center on like your eye level. It kind of helps with, not depth perception, situational awareness, especially in shooters and stuff like that, but whatever. And also that would have closed the gap up here, but I'll figure a workaround. Maybe I'll get like a riser for the stand or something like that. I'm not gonna go ghetto with it and stack it on some books or anything like that, but I'll figure something out, boys. I really hate messing with this monitor. So I gotta unplug. Eh these cables and then of course 
display port or DP doesn't make it super easy because you have like a, a prong that you need to press in, a button you needed to press, because if you just try and rip it out with the HDMI cable, you'll literally damage either your cable or potentially your monitor. And that's, that ain't no fun. Okay, let's put this bad girl right over here. This isn't really a very light monitor. I know I'm a pretty weak dude. I haven't been, uh, haven't been hitting the weights in quite a while, but my golly, this thing is not light, boy. So anyway, you depress this button right here. You don't get depressed, but this button gets depressed. And then you pull it out of the stand like that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that mount's not gonna work. I can tell you that right, right the fuck now. Oh geez. Oh boy, Rick. Any of you guys looking at getting a biotech monitor, this is what the inside of it looks like behind the little, how's our hair inside of there? It's like a big old Wookiee's pube or something. It's like a big gray, uh, you'll have to take my word for it. My pubes aren't gray, but anyway, I don't know. It was a big, long, twisty hair. But yeah, that's that's what it looks like. There's also lights on the back of this monitor. I just turn them off because they're so dim. You can't even see it like uh, reflected on the wall. Not to mention, I, I, I don't know. I just didn't really want lights behind my monitor, but uh, hold on. We're gonna do our due diligence here, boys. Still 90% sure it won't work, but we're gonna, there's still a 10% chance that I'm a fucking idiot. And that, that's, that's, that's been proven in the past. So let's, uh, let's make sure that's not the case here. Jesus, I can't even get this thing out of the bag. You dodo bird, there we go. Oh wait, hold up, hold, hold, hold up, wait a minute. Let me put some pivot in it, no. Now, now, this monitor just, it wasn't born for the lifestyle of being on a wall. When it was conceived, when it was birthed from a mama monitor and a daddy monitor, they said, we don't want our son being on the wall. We want him sitting on a desk, and that's what he's going to live his life out doing. So, um, I'll just go fuck myself. Not, not a big deal, guys. <sighs> All right, well, that is going to do it for this episode, guys. This is part two of this game room build here. Just, I'm liking it so far. I'm not going to lie. This, this setup is looking really good to me. It gives me a real tickle in the nether regions when I walk home. Walk home. God, I ain't walking home, sweetheart. It gives me a real, uh, a real tickle in the testes, when real butterflies in the niblets when I walk when I uh, walk in the door after a hard day's work, and I uh, walk into this room and I see all that RGB popping my corneas and whatnot. It really, um, it puts a smile on this ugly old face. So, yeah, um, I'm liking it so far, guys. I really am, and it's not done yet. This thing is going to be the bee's knees and the mule's tits when I'm done with it. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah.